can be shown by the pizza, no more leftover, right? Mm. <laughs> okay, and then most of you, I hope all of you, already have this uh, big hero image, right? Um, so we will proceed and try to finish this as soon as possible. Uh, so we do again together, right? <coughs> yeah? I go slowly by this time. Okay? So next, if you want to have the something like this, we have to add basically a new row. So let's click on here, add row. Right? And we want one column again. So click insert. <coughs> give you empty you have to you have to click this blank row first right then the blue becomes uh, bluer and then you add the widget search for head headline headline That gives you a headline, right? Oh, good. Then click the headline. Let's type it. Welcome to a cool cafe. We'll change the details here together also. Change the, the tag to H2. Right, and we also want to give some color. Let's say I pick red color. Leave the font <coughs> to use the theme font. Just use the theme font. And then. Um, <coughs> Let's make the font size uh, 42 Center alignment <coughs> Alright And then we also have divider Divider is the line bottom Solid style Color You can change the color I'll make it as a gray One thickness Okay, center alignment, and we just make that smaller a bit by just say 30% width. <coughs> All good? All good? Can you go back? The divider? is you give the color uh, one one pixel thickness center alignment and change the divider weight to 30 percent uh, yeah use steel board <coughs> All good. Then click done and save the home page. See what do you have? You should have something like this and the divider. Okay. All good. So the next, we're going to have only this paragraph. Okay, basically this paragraph, 
you can okay you can copy and paste you open this website uh, google search coffeeipsum.com What is Coffee Ipsum? As a web developer, usually we use a lot of uh, dummy text. We are so lazy, so we just want to copy paste. Basically, they will ask you how many paragraphs. I just generate eight paragraph. So you get eight paragraph for dummy text here, right? <coughs> you can copy and paste any paragraph now we want to make that paragraph something like this one right so click on the row again so the row becomes blue right add widget and then click on the site origin or editor this one editor <coughs> then you click it you get blank text editor uh, notice that most of you has paragraph problem so we we'll, this time you we'll switch over the text here switch the text and paste the paragraph <coughs> like that did I miss the S? okay the difference is that when you go to the text tab, the text is copy pasted without any format, right? I will show you. I will show you what happened if it is on visual. If I copy paste the text from uh, here, for example, <coughs> right? When it, when I go to text, hey, they don't add the paragraph. <laughs> now that they don't have but basically sometimes the paragraph if you go to the text you get funny funny tag like uh, this tag like this tag something like that so the best way is when you copy paste right to make the text clean is go to text tab first <coughs> when you go to visual it becomes like this nice all right and then you can block all and make a line center okay there's no other thing to change so that just click done and save home page we should see a nice paragraph here okay is that we have to have this <coughs> so I'll show you first what actually the page builder generate you okay this one actually they created in a row no need to no need to concern so much about the code but basically I'm trying to you that they divide it into one uh, one one row uh, sorry one column one column and one column so that makes <coughs> our row becomes three column right we have to generate three columns now how do we do that click the add row first right and then increase the column they should automatically give you this <coughs> okay easy ah yeah. follow ah uh that uh, insert but they place it in the wrong uh, sequence right you don't need to worry you see this little icon <coughs> you click it and drag it down like that yeah. <coughs> 
So you have this three column, right? Okay, but we're going to delete it anyway. So go to here and delete it. I'm just showing you how to make a three column. Okay, add the row again. Add the row. Okay, sorry. <coughs> add row. Do a 100. Do a 100. Again, wrong place, right? Drag it down. And here, we actually already have this uh, widget, add a widget, call, find a site origin features. Why? Because we, uh, we create something like the three column, but features already have the features to divide you into three columns. Okay, click the features and add. Add one features. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's follow along. Uh, do it together. Give it a color, something like, you know, brownies kind of thing. Brown. Because we want to add this thing, ah. Uh, coffee and then gourmet food and then salad and then in the icon right uh, you basically need to search but you can type this thing called coffee co then you get this one okay select white color <coughs> okay, the enter the title coffee. Title text coffee. What are the text here? The text here is basically this text. This text, right? We can just copy paste from the coffee ipsum again. I just Base this one. Mm. Okay. <coughs> and then click the coffee again to hide the thing because we want to add two more. So click add again. This time the container color is different one, which is red. And then the icon, the icon is actually a spoon. So search for SP. Aha, then you see the spoon. Good, all good. Icon color is white. Um, title text is gourmet food I just copy paste the same text <coughs> okay then click the frame again the gourmet food because we want to add one more one more container which is the salad is green one uh, for green one Actually, the search icon, uh, the search is leave. L E E. So some of you might be wondering, how do I know this coffee spoon or leaf? It's written here, font awesome, right? Font awesome. Font awesome is actually a third-party library. If you Google font awesome, I think you go from here. Right? <coughs> And they give you, they lead you to this website called Font Awesome IO. Here got a lot of. Um, if you go to the icons, they have lots of lots of icons, right? Uh, it will be the same. Let's say I play uh, spoon. I search for spoon, then they will give me the same spoon because they are the original dealer for the spoon. Okay. 
So that's how I know that you should search for a spoon. <laughs> yeah, the leaf and so they have. You can play around with different uh, icons, but the the feeling will be also different. Uh. Okay, so for for now we just choose a leaf icon color is white. Then title text is salad. <coughs> And I just copy paste the same. <coughs> okay. So now we have three features uh, with the container shape brown. Maybe let's just for see how does a container shape uh, round looks like, right? So I save here and refresh again. I will get a round one. Uh, so that you know that this round is actually called container this is the icon this is the title and this is the content so we can go back and edit again you know try different uh, container for example now here um, in the in the end product that we have this one I'm using sticker sticker yeah but you can do other things like let's try hex or explode. Let's explode. You can make the icon size bigger. Remember uh, the way you can also always when you use Chrome, right? You can always right click and inspect so that you can play around. Right? Oh, this is font icon. Font size is twenty four px. And when you want to play around with it, you can always click this part and just up and down see up up up, up like that uh, then they tell you my current font size is 46 px and this one they tell you font uh, size is 84 what does this 84 connect remember this is the container size and this is the icon size uh, then you can play around with it when you increase the font size how big how big do you want it So we just play around, uh, for example, this one I put 32 pics. <coughs> you can also change like how many features per row you want to add. One more features becomes one row or two by two, something like that. Alright. Okay, all good. Let's click done. And save our home page and refresh it. Nah, now it becomes like that. Okay, close this. Slightly different, but it's, that's okay. Alright. Mm. All good? Everybody Everybody has problem? Raise your hand. The coaches are so free back there. <laughs> <coughs> We have how many row more row to go? One, two, and three. We just have three more row to go, okay? So now, next row, we have this thing, the image that is always changing. Uh, this is the another icon, and this is our address, right? <coughs> Very easy. We're going to have, the trick here is to have uh, three columns. Uh, Let's have a three column uh, add the row three column. For this time, I already calculate that I'm gonna have fifty percent for this column. Okay. I'm gonna have eight percent for this column. <coughs> Wait. Just edit everything. Uh. And 42. Add together is 100. Then you click anywhere. Becomes like that. Okay. <coughs> then click insert. Ah, again, they put it wrong. Okay, so put it there. Oh, 
here we need something called slider oh slider is here site origin slider edit <coughs> And then <coughs> edit it again the slider will need some pictures right so we can add first frame um, what's the background image so I'm gonna uh, <coughs> add in is it this one okay yeah this one You notice that whenever you upload to WordPress, right? WordPress tell you what is the size, the original size of your <coughs> image. And later you will realize that I prepared three same size page. For example, this one, okay. <coughs> just leave it, just leave everything for now. Okay, click the frame again, click add for the second frame. Upload the second pictures. Mm, is it this one? Uh, see, same, same size. Okay. Add. Same size. Okay, there's not much that we should change here, so we can simply click done and save home page and refresh. Okay, so now we already have this one. The the invisible white thing that you hear, they call it like slider control. You can customize it. You click this one control <coughs> you can change the color or the, the style you want it to be like round thin and let's say I want it to be yellow like this and there's also swipe control if you are using mobile click that <coughs> and save again Now you see it's already changed color. Okay. Am I going to pass again? <laughs> Did you say yes? <laughs> okay. Should I go? Uh, I think Zion is still debugging. <coughs> you see if I resize this one the nicest thing about this team is that they're they're so called mobile friendly that <coughs> they will give you all this funny funny stuff. This is uh, what we call hamburger hamburger menu. <coughs> see? They automatically this one is imagine that you're viewing it using iPhone. Right, yeah, this thing, and then uh, you can just swipe basically. Yeah, okay, full screen again. So now uh, we're going to add this part. This part is a single icon, single icon, single text, single text. So, very easy to do. Let's click on this uh, cell and then add widget again. Uh, find icon, site origin icon. <coughs> okay, edit it. <coughs> find the icon. Again, I already cheat and let's see. The thing for that is uh, called actually marker, map marker. 
So you just type M A and then they should give you this one. And then give some color. Um, just red will do. <coughs> um, the size leave it blank for because we don't know what is the correct size yet. And then uh, for this one, add from the ed editor again our address. Okay, <coughs> edit. Let's uh, say Java Street. When when we are building using WordPress, right? It is very normal that you always do a lot of trial and error. So if you encounter things like this, you don't need to worry. Even WordPress ex uh, experience WordPress developers still do this kind of thing. You know the old <laughs> trial and error thing. We think that uh, it's too small, mm. so we should go back and edit again. Again, we need to find out what is the pixel. <coughs> okay, they don't have the pixel here. Um, but they tell you things like uh, the size is 8.24 times 14.4. This one. Right? Yes. <coughs> so whenever we whenever there are times that we don't know what is the, the exact pixel we just go by child I don't know um, and this one we know that they are uh, so-called um, center align center align so we can have something like, I don't know, maybe, um, <laughs> and then they're still aligned center, we can change it to the right so that they, they are closer to the text. And then we also change this one, uh, the font size. Ooh, let me see. <coughs> We again change it to heading two. I see how that affects stuff. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's nicer now. When you change to heading two and then thirty two pixels, it looks really uh, better, right? Mm. Okay. So now we want to actually do the magic thing called duplicate here. You got it, right? There's this thing called duplicate here. Click it. They actually duplicate it. And click one more time. And then, oh, this one also the same for this. Click it two times. Right? <coughs> and then for this we want to change the icon to clock basically mm. so CLO clock and just save it the third one is the phone number search for the icon th phone number Okay. And then we just do a, another dummy tag here. You see, if I if I switch this from visual to text, right? WordPress actually helps you to add this uh, heading to text. Alright, this one. If I change to heading three, it becomes heading three. So indirectly, you can actually uh, do direct changes here and say I want to make it back to H2 and that 
then it will back to heading two. Right? Uh, what was the second game? Uh, oh, open daily eight a.m. ten p.m. Change heading two. Okay. And also for the third row. Another way to edit is to edit it directly here for the phone number. Uh, 998, 998. <coughs> Then, and save it. Cool. Got it. <coughs> okay. Now we know that there are three rows for this, right? But something is just not right. It's just not pixel perfect here. Why? Because this and this should be on the same line and this is also same line right so we again want to find out what is really wrong what what is wrong with this element right actually there's nothing wrong it's just that uh it's positioning in the awkward way that we have to find a way to bring this text a bit up right when there is no element style here you can actually click click on here and say uh text like line height let's say i don't know 20 pixel ah it looks better right yeah and then we want to apply this line height only to this specific text how do we do that you can you can actually copy this one this is a, a little bit coding you don't need to you don't need to do this if you don't want uh, and then you attach it to the HTML here the way you attach it is you do this one style equals to <coughs> this one line height so line height actually just lifts up the the line of that text and how about this guy because we lift up the line height this guy this guy is should be all right save again and refresh ah it's better now better okay so we completed this row we have only how many row uh, two row and this one is we'll do it quick because you already done it before right uh, again we have to add the row add row of one column click insert again uh, and because we already know that this row will be span for the full full stretch so we can change the row rate out again to full width stretch and then <coughs> let me see again we have to insert the hero here hero 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 here will have a frame. Let's say you you can do it. And then coffee and let's say we are making it like maybe heading tree and then center line. 
we also wanted to make the coffee maybe italic Okay, the difference is that because we want to make this row this time has a parallax ef effect. You see, if you are in this position, you cannot see the word order here, right? But if you scroll down, then suddenly you see the order here. So the parallax thing has to be set at the row level. So you click down here first, and then you create the edit row. Uh, let's see. Aha. Here also I have background image, uh, so I will create this one. This one, done, and then give a parallax original size. <coughs> not rare yet. Maybe something wrong with our parallax configuration. Ooh, let's go to design again. Try parallax only. Did the hero have background? It did. So when you have something like that, right, you might suspect that where is this back black color comes from? Is it from my uh, row level or from my widget level? So after this, we see that the background is actually set to black. How do I make it transparent, right? You click the clear button and that's it, right? Click the done and hopefully it works. Aha, uh -huh. yep, it works. And again, we want to make the, the padding bigger so come back again, uh, click again. Maybe this time we increase it by like 100. <coughs> nah, that it will have 100 top, 100 bottom. <coughs> but you cannot see the parallax now because you don't have uh, remaining weight when you when you have the weight here then you can know uh -huh. then when you scroll down on it then you see that so now we are making our last row okay bear with me last row, our last row is uh, having the contact form and okay basically see this contact is we can say like two-thirds of the of the width and then this is one-third of the width so we need two columns that has 75% and 25% right okay <coughs> let me try it. I click here and I add row I want they already have the Pre pre sorted. Uh, thirds blah blah blah. I don't think they have. Ah. So they already have the preset. Seventy five, twenty five. Let's click the insert button again. They insert it in the wrong place, but we need to move it down. Okay, so we want. Uh, heading of uh, a heading of contact us and a heading of events and gathering here how do we do that okay as usual click here add widget and search for the heading headline, headline. and then fill in contact us is to color um alignment I want it to be left center. Yeah. Does it have to be fighter? It does have to be fighter. And just leave everything default. 
see if it's actually giving us what we want. <coughs> yeah, actually it is. So now for the events at Catherine, right, we save our time by duplicating it and then drag it to <coughs> this column. Okay, duplicate and then drag it. But we want to change this one to uh, events and catering. Okay, done. We have the. We still have to do the <coughs> contact us so we can find a contact form. Okay, do the contact form. Uh, this part, click it. <coughs> We can add the editor here for some text, and then after that we have the social media. Social media buttons. Here, if I edit the social media, it's still blank. Basically, we add the network, <coughs> Facebook. What's the Facebook name? Uh, I don't know. Apple. And then add one more network, Twitter. Okay. All good. Click done. The one that we haven't added is this one. So Again, I just copy paste some text here. When I copy paste, right, I see, aha, uh -huh, they actually paste with the heading three, paragraph and paragraph, and something like that. Yeah, but actually we don't want this one, right? When we copy paste, right, we don't want to copy the style. That is why it's not a good way of copy pasting. So I'm gonna delete it again. Go to the text and copy paste. Only then I get it right. And I want to tell that this one is heading three and that's it. Save it. And done. We are almost done. It's just that our contact form is actually not really um, suitable for example uh, but just remember that everything can be configured from this itself for example this contact form we haven't visited right what are the options for that for example they allow you to add more fields for example I'm not sure um, here what kind of field type you want for example it's a text um, what's your favorite food <coughs> right and then we can also customize the design what container left uh, color that you want for example just now we see some gray background here you can get rid of that by pressing clear padding you see there is some a little bit of a gap here it's like 10 pixel want to get it get drop get rid of it uh, border color um, let me see let's say I want to change the button settings ah. so these are uh, the setting tells you that two email address they already auto assigned to the admin email so that where contact emails will be delivered to right so these contact emails will be delivered to the admin and then uh, what is the default subject and then for example here we can just say contact request from website okay and the success message upon successful submission and then they will tell you what text do you want to 
say on the context app, for example, send send message. Okay. Good, good. And see, this should change. Ah. Oh no. Still have the border. We 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 need to get rid of the border because it's kind of ugly. Let's see where is the border look uh, located at. Ah, so this one. So they will tell you like, oh, you got a border. Just clear it. Clear it, or you can also change the border style to none. And you should. And finally, this can end. Okay, cool. Right. So this was our edition. What's your favorite food? So now when you have more with it, you can play with the parallax as well. Stuff like that. Okay. So I guess our homepage now is finalized to be like this. <coughs> is there any question that you are desperate to ask? <laughs> <coughs> Nowadays, you can you can uh, actually see that a lot of uh, business they just do a one simple landing page and it's already sell. It just depends on how you work, how your your content is. Is it selling? Is it like um, is it like doing a good job selling your business? Something like that. Usually, as a developer. Uh, yes, we do have to play with all the fancy fancy stuff, but if your copy are still your, I mean your English copywriting are not good, they're also like useless, <laughs> yeah. And another thing that you should consider is that you need to make sure that uh, they are, they can be, they can look nice on the mobile phone, yeah. Okay, maybe the last thing is that we need to log into the email. Uh, email. We we provide. I mean, Vanessa provides the SMTP. So we can log into Gmail. the email works this should work <coughs> okay so <laughs> Rita test. let's say now we want to test whether the email really works or not uh, because remember just now we are using the SMTP postman for example my name uh, Gmail, um, another test. Let's see uh, if this works. And let's say a, a visitor visit your website and then they they tell you that uh, they want to contact you. Then you send the message. It should reach to you as a WordPress uh, admin. Okay. Oh, they say thanks for contacting us. You know where this we configured right just now? Is it's the success? Uh, is this a success? This one. So you change. Uh, like for example, uh, visit us <coughs> at, at <coughs> Facebook, something like that. You can do it. Okay. Oh, forgot. I check this out. Ah. Then it really works. Mm. Okay. I guess uh, that marks the end of the part one. Is it time for another break? <laughs> After the break, right? Is there any question, by the way? 
like are you happy to be learning all this uh, uh, even though we are going too far I think but to learn reverse to learn this way I think is more more Any other question, Ravi? Yes. The parallax? Yeah. Okay, the parallax is actually we take it from the hero, right? It's like yeah. origin hero. But the parallax option is located at the row level. Edit row. Um, the design and then background image display is parallax. Then you have to select the image. The image. Have you added the the image here? Select image. I did a background image. If you have the black color, you might check on your this one and uh, background color. The frame background color. This one, you need to you need to clear it. You need to clear it. Okay, now, hey, question. You, you said you can pre-present the presentation. Okay. So maybe present first? Okay. Yeah, present first. Not ready yet. <laughs> Not ready? Yeah. Or maybe take photo first. Yeah, maybe you should take photo first. Um, hello. Hi. Um, before we can, before we uh, continue the phase two, um, can we have like a group photo first? Just a group photo. Yeah, just just stay there and we compress uh, back there and then yeah, just like 
how many minutes, like take photo, and then after that we have like 15 minutes tea break, or coffee break.